everyone what we have here today is a how to uh, on how to make a rock wall for a reptile cage right here we have the materials you just need some grout a brush styrofoam a knife sealant spray bottle some power grab with from loctite and some sand uh, what we have here is you need to first measure out your dimensions of your tank the best way that i found to cut the styrofoam is just with a regular knife with the knife, you just draw your lines, cut through it, break it off, you know, when you need to. And once that is done, you want to go on to make sure that you have all the correct dimensions. Make sure to measure out. Don't do it by eye. Get everything in exact. Make things a lot easier when you put the styrofoam back in the tank. One thing to remember is you want about a quarter inch leeway on all sides of the wall so you have some room to work with when you put it back into the tank with this project it does grow because you're putting grout on top of the styrofoam so you always want to make sure you trim everything up in case it doesn't fit place it in the tank set everything up before you you know glue stuff together in mine i already had a mushroom glued in there that I couldn't take off so i had to custom the size of the styrofoam. Normally you just have a regular rectangle. But as you can see on the left there's some space there where it's not touching the, the side of the tank. And on the top there's about a quarter inch or a little more you know leeway. I'm just making it a little bit more because I'm planning to go a little heavy on the mortar. The mortar as in the as in the grout. So just make sure you have that space uh, in between the edge of the styrofoam and the tank. What I use is a Loctite power grab. You can get all the materials at Home Depot. But you just uh, place it on here. What I did, I beveled some edges into the uh, styrofoam so it would grab a little bit easier on this one because I had to make my piece a little bit wider because my tank's a little bit bigger. Always make sure to put pressure on it, squeeze them together, let it dry completely before you try to do anything. Once you do that, you want to make sure that it still fits after you know you get your final dimensions down. Place it up against the wall, make sure everything's good. Once you do that, we're going to go on to making the actual rocks on the rock wall. What you want to do is cut out some pieces or break them off and you want to rough up the edges of them so it doesn't look like well, you know a square so either break, break it off with your thumbs make an angled edge and try to make it as close to rock as you can and once you do that put some glue on the back of the styrofoam place it on the styrofoam press it down and you basically just want to do a jigsaw puzzle with rocks as you're making this I've started just to cut a angle down on the edges and then breaking off the corners. I found it to be a little bit faster than just using your thumb to break off pieces. So when you're doing that, you just want to make sure to make everything look a little different. Use enough you know, power grab so it's not going to come off in the future. As you can see, I'm moving along with making the uh, jigsaw a little more. I'm using bigger and smaller pieces to change it up so it doesn't look like a consistent shape through the, through the entire thing. Different pieces are always good and always make sure to plan out it kind of in your head what you want to do. Um, as you're going to see with mine I made a shelf for them to sit on that extends out a little bit so if your reptile needs like a hide or anything like that make sure to make that with the, with the styrofoam. What we have here is the grout you want it to be like a thin pancake mix so it kind of just drips in and gets in all the little crevices uh just use a re regular brush you know brush it on don't be shy with you know using a lot of grout make it goopy it'll dry and it'll just make it stronger you want to make sure to get every single little crevice that you find because reptiles normally need some kind of moisture so you don't want moisture getting into the styrofoam and causing issues that way 
This is the first coat, as you can see. Came out not too bad. Yeah, and you also want to make sure to do the back because if you don't do the back, it's not going to be balanced. See, and it also adds a sense of you know stability. Uh, you, you want to make sure to do several coats with this, at least three to four coats. You'll find with three to four coats, your styrofoam, you know, as you can see here, starts to look a little more like rocks instead of pieces of styrofoam. Uh, every coat, make sure to get every single little crevice that you can find. And just keep on brushing it on, let it dry, put on another coat. What we're going to move on to now is the painting part. Easiest way, find a square bottle at a dollar store, get some acrylic paint, mix it with some water and spray it on. Uh, it takes two seconds to do and it paints on really easily. So make sure to get, you know, all around where, where you want it to be. Also, a side note is to use colored grout for the base instead of white. It just kind of helps with the background in case, you know, some shows through. It's still a natural brown color. Um, you want to make sure to let the acrylic paint dry. I decided to use a black and then I mixed in some gray. So it, the paint would be layered and it would show up more of a rocky sense. So I did more of a light spray, but um, as you can see, I'm putting sand on it. What this does, it adds some texture to the rock wall and takes away some of the shine that uh, comes in from the sealant that we'll be putting on and the acrylic paint. So if you put the sand on, put paint over it, it kind of mixes in and it provides some texture. A, for the reptile you're putting in there to climb on and just for the overall texture look. Uh, what I'm doing now is I have a little bit of gr light gray paint on my brush and you're just kind of brushing over the edges of the rocks. What this is going to do is really make them pop out and add a add some definition to the rocks. And then what I did uh, on my own was I decided to add some texture to the flat spots of the rock wall. I thought I added a little more definition. Uh, as you can see here, I'm spraying on the sealant. You want to make sure to get the sealant on the back and the front. Make sure to use a non-toxic sealant. Let it dry all the way. All the fumes go away before you put it back in the cage. <laughs> and as you can see here, we have it back in the cage with the rest of the uh, props that I have. I think it came out pretty nicely. And always make sure to let it dry completely before you put it back in. Alright, thank you.